Hello, my name is Anna. When I was 14, I began my first year in Japanese. The first thing she learned how to do was to introduce herself. Hi, konnichiwa. In this single year, Anna learned and experienced all sorts of things, including two new alphabets, hiragana and katakana. At the beginning of the year, Sensei makes us all note cards with our names in katakana. With our ever-expanding knowledge, we began to learn how to head our papers in an entirely new language. Japanology was something I was shown where I could see direct differences between American culture and Japanese culture, and it showed me that there are interesting things in every culture. Romaji was something that I used as a tool in order to get better at hiragana and katakana. The majority of my first year in Japanese was a struggle to speak simple phrases. At the end of my first year of Japanese, I made a dream trip to Japan. In this, I struggled to make my pronunciations and to understand the hiragana and katakana as well as the few kanji that I had written for Tokyo and Akihabara. It shows how much I've grown in the sense that I can now read without hesitation and without worry. As I went into my second year of Japanese, I spoke with amazing friends and found more fun in the language than ever before and that through straining to learn new phrases, I could communicate even more and have even more fun with them. While kanji was not something that I particularly loved, it connected me with a new love for history. It showed me that it, every kanji had a story, and that through a few strokes you could understand that history, and it would give you a greater understanding of it. Pen pal letters allowed me to push that newfound love of kanjis, hiragana, and Japanese in general into something someone could read, and it was so much fun to open every single letter. Cooking okonomiyaki at the end of my second year of Japanese gave me a whole new variety of love for Japanese and its culture. It made me realize that you don't need to know another language or culture in order to understand it. That just through cutting up a cabbage and adding all these ingredients and just having fun with your friends, that you could experience an entirely new culture without even having to read a book. Dude, I don't know how we're gonna flip it though. She said she said to press the <laughs> pin. <laughs> is, do you want me to have more? Is that enough? That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. We need two flip cups. Or give it to your dad. Or we can use it as topping. Yeah. yeah. Push him in. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys want me to also add the? Over the summer of my second year of Japanese, I focused on listening to Japanese in the language. Through the app of NHK World, I listened to podcasts and worked further on trying to understand the language and what I could hear through daily conversations. Sensei's teachings for the past two years, as well as this app, helped me achieve daily conversation and helped me at my part-time job with other people that spoke only Japanese and had a problem with something I never have had speaking English. However, a new challenge appeared. The first big assignment of our junior or senior years in J3 was to make kanjis of our names and the sounds that they would make. I chose the kanji for peace or cheap, un. Junior year, I believe, broke the most barriers. It showed me that I can try something new without fear or worry because there are other people that like it as well. And that you shouldn't judge something until you try it or at least have knowledge of it because it may be something you find to love. 
A major part of Japanese 3 was to get into groups and to speak as if you were in a normal conversation. This helped me, as well as many others, to think of it as just a normal conversation and less like a curriculum. With this newfound comfort, I began to speak up. My three years in Japanese taught me so much. I could understand, speak, and write in ways that I couldn't a few years back. That the culture that I was finding out about was actually something someone lived with. And that while there were connections and comparisons to my own that I may not have agreed with or liked, they were new and they were something I was very proud to understand. The things I learned could be taken outside of just school and I could apply them in so many different ways to communicate with others or to read something on a billboard that maybe I didn't know. Through making this project, I realized that I really did enjoy my three years and I know that it was just a grade, but that every experience made me grow as a person and without it, I may not be the person that I am today. Line up the desks. They're like not aligned. Go whenever you're ready. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, those are bad. Hold on. I'm sorry, that's so shaky. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I probably no, I probably run. Press it in. That's what she said. It's gonna be like oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.